welcome to the Blackjack Pack, guys. I'm here again. It's your boy Parse underscore Retro here with Playmaker. And what's a what's a diva cup, bro? Oh, you asked you want to record this? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I, I have no idea what a diva cup is. I don't know. It's whatever. I listen. So a diva cup yep. is um. Hmm. Mm. The thing is, your real reaction, you're going to hold it in because, you know, you got to be appropriate, but Whew. this is what happens when you start having a girlfriend. Uh, true. You start learning things that, you know, right? I've, I've learned more about uh, menstrual cycles in, in the one year of having a girlfriend than I had my whole life combined. I, I, lived, I, I lived perfectly fine. I didn't need to know a lot. I don't know why they feel so comfortable talking to us about their, like, how they prepare for their hair. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, like, the amount of time she'd be like, let me tell you about how I do my hair and why it takes two hours. I'm like, bro, I could watch a movie in two hours. <laughs> Listen, I, you know, what I've learned that a lot of, ha- of having a girlfriend or being in a relationship it's on one to truly pay attention. Yo, truly. Like a like a <laughs> like, like basketball practice when they're running over the play. Huh? Gotta pay attention. No. Mm. More like class. More like class. I'm not right? taking notes until I, I hear something important. Yo, for real. But it's important, good. Important, necessary. This, like the certain stuff that your girl says that you're definitely like, oh, this will come back later. Let me write Yo, this. for real. And then, yo, you be you be chilling with her, and she'd be like, remember that time I told you about when I was doing this? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> was it was it really that important? Like, did I have to remember? I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, I'm about to hear it now. I'm about to hear it for not remembering. <laughs> no, I I don't I don't get that. Me, it's actually the reverse. Mm. I looked out where I'm like the rememberer in the relationship, which is great. That's well, that's a lot of I never get in trouble for not remembering. A lot of owners on you, but but you know what TV show? You know, this is just going to bring us to to like a completely different conversation, but but we're having a good conversation already. (laughs) Whatever, this is honestly how we talk, guys. This is honestly how we talk with no camera back, uh, but just no cussing, um, right. Like I've been re-watching a lot of old TV shows. And you know what old TV show I really like? Because and probably because he's it's not because of necessarily his views, but just the way he goes about the world is according to Jim. As those that don't know, it's an old TV show with uh, Jim Belushi, one of the Booth brothers, and well, or the brother of one of the Booth brothers. And it's just about this guy who loves his wife, loves his kids, loves his family. But also wants to be super lazy and just do his shit and nobody bother him. So basically, it's like handling all that. And yeah, there's some level of misogyny, but at the same time, I like it's also played up for laughs. A laugh. So the thing I love about Jim is the fact that he like, like even he says, "I don't lie. I don't like to hurt you or do anything bad." I just lie because I don't want to do something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't li- like I don't lie because I just don't want to do what you're asking me to do, and this is why I'm lying. Like, a hundred percent lie. Like, right? And then, and it just brings up to that conversation of like, how much are you really willing to do in your relationships? Like, like the certain stuff. Like, I'm be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And I and I think Pars knows this about me. I think English has like been a serious time around me. I do not like big family dinners. I don't like family dinners in general. I don't like dinner in general where there's no screen or TV next to it. Like I don't think we've ever had a conversation meeting at a bar and there's not a screen. Right. But right. I but like most people will find that normal, but like me, it's like that all the time. Like, like it's very rare where I have conversations with my girl where there's no screen on 
or music playing. Like it just, I don't like, to be honest, I just don't like it. So um, I am that person, even my own family, I will refuse, decline, find a way to get out of family dinners. I just hate it. It's like everybody just goes around the table and says like, m- like menial things. Nobody like this conversation, nobody wants to have, but you're, you're forced to have because this or else it's not for silence. Yeah. And then you, and you end up just talking about things that you really don't even have. A, like you have some of interest, but not even a big interest. Like, Oh, so what do you do for work? But I, I, I can see you, what you do for work. <laughs> 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 like, and you know, especially in in like COVID times of COVID, like I have nothing else. To, I have nothing else to tell you. Like, we, like yeah, we, for real, for real. Yo, people like, really you be are, acting that there's some big thing that happened because you haven't seen each other. Like, been able to see each other in person for a long time. Bro, the week went by. I went to work. I clocked in. I clocked out. What you think? No, no, no. Can't go you're say, No, you're saying that at least from people who like work. Like, I'm saying like family member, like people you're living with. Bro, I'm gonna hear. Like, I I was here all week. Like, if something important had happened in the week, why are you waiting for family dinner? But like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I'm, yeah. So, but those I, things you don't have with family, you usually have that when you have to go see the you know the other the other person's family. Right. Oh, bro. Right. So now I'm be honest with you. I've always wanted a cool relationship with my in laws to the point my in laws like me more than their own. Yeah, 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 for sure. But like. Have you ever like you have you ever met somebody's in laws and then you're like, I mess with them. We can be cool. We can be friends. <laughs> That's it. Like it's just like, ooh. I already and know. Is, and holiday season come it. around. I ain't trying to be around. <laughs> huh? Holiday season come around. I ain't trying to be around. At least not that long. Bro, first, and you know the thing is, I have no problem with my 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 girlfriend's family. I I love I. Yeah, like that mind girl and whatever. No issues. But, no issues. but like, mind the positive. The, 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 so, another thing, right? Um, when we when you chill with the girl and everything, yo, how, yo, something actually really hurt me the other day. I went to go see her, right? So we chill, whatever, right? It's her car. Right? She pull up. She says she need gas. I told her, okay, we'll get some gas. Pull up to the spot. She all like, yo. Pump my gas for me. Bro. Are you dumb? Yo, actually, this is where the chore really starts. Nah. I got a problem with that. I nah. don't like you when you do it to me. Are you, are you, so you, so you expect me to pump the gas for you. And when I'm driving, pump the gas for me. Oh, are no. You no, listen. Did you, did you leave the house without your brain today? And the brain's too tight. And the brain's too tight. That's what happened? No. Nah. Bro. Lucky for her, she got out of the car and paid because otherwise I would have had a fit. Lucky for her. Bro, they legit did that to me once, never again. Because I do the way I talked her ear off on the way no back. Talking about, I ain't playing with you. Yo, you haven't seen me play yet. Like I told you, I'm not playing. When I'm not playing, I'm not playing. Don't don't <laughs> test me. You haven't seen me te- get tested. Not gonna feel not gonna be fun for you. No, you and you know what like, and how people act like, like it's like the random expectations you you not yeah. really have of things you must do. Coded in with some BS, be a gentleman type. What? No, no, no. Listen, I've been out here. No, 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 no. no. You're saying that. You know what? I'm, my problem is uh, that's the the sweater, that's the sweaters, bro. Just because sweaters? you date me doesn't mean you own my sweaters. Yeah, that's weird. Bro, and the like, thing is, it's only women that get it. I don't get it. I like for me, and you know me. I don't like sharing yeah. clothes. I don't like. I, why would I share clothes? clothes? I'm, I'm, <laughs> bro, there's four things in my life. Don't touch. Don't touch the food. Don't, have a, hmm? don't don't touch the food. Don't touch the clothes. Don't touch the car, and don't touch my bank accounts. Okay. Don't, okay. I don't sh- like my grandfather. My grandfather had this great, great rule. He said the three like some someone had come and asked him about something, and my grandfather looked them straight in the eyes. And to this day, everybody knows the story in our family. The three things you don't touch: my car, my discs, my woman. <laughs> Everything else you can have. 
<laughs> me, Marvel. don't touch my vinyls. Same thing. Like, like grandfather, like grandson. Don't, don't, uh, don't mess with my clothes. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Don't touch my girl. I don't mm-hmm. like that either. Mm-hmm. Right? Unless, you know, we've preset that, like, okay, you, you guys are allowed to date separately. But if we are, if we're, if we're not specifically exclusive or we haven't made certain rules, hey, listen, we ain't playing that. Mm-hmm. And then number four, don't, don't, okay? Leave your mess anywhere near my stuff. I don't care if you, A, I don't care what you did. Like, if you come to my room, you come to my place, like, pick up after yourself. Like, I, like, it annoys me, especially in my room. I'm okay if I make a mess, because I'll pick it up. But you, mm, but yeah. <laughs> Basically, and, oh, and you, and you know one great thing about COVID is that people stop touching, people will finally stop touching me, especially in the office. People are disrespectful towards my suits. I'll be always coming up, touching me and shit. I'm like, nah. Yeah, yeah, that, that that ended. You gotta keep your distance. Mm-hmm. See, this is the thing, like with us guys, right? Is that there are some things that we do that they probably don't like. But I know I'm not gonna tell you that because we're guys. But I do show up late, like five minutes, maybe. Depends on traffic. For me, I always leave. I always leave my house on time. It's just a trap, you know. Yo, my thing. My thing is like, um, I don't know, just like, oh, like I do nothing more that I hate back than I hate like when you ask them a question, but then like they answer your question with a question. Bro, I've been doing that. She be getting, she, she be checking me. She asked me a question and I'd be like, what? Huh? And she'd be like, don't do that. No, you're, you're nice. I Me, mean, it's just like, okay. But um, but she'd be catching what, me. I'm saying she's catching me. Like it's not me catching her. Listen, you're the one slipping out here. I'm the one slipping on it because I, I don't have the I answer to all you, the I questions. You that, bro. I don't have the answers to all the questions. I'm not even thinking about that. My mind be thinking about something else, you know, like plans, mm-hmm. plans I'm making, and then she'd be asking me some uh, like a like a question, and I'd just be like, where did that even come from? Like how did I put myself in this position? <laughs> no. I, I, so I'd be coming with the what you say? Uh, yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. Like you have to repeat that so that I get more time to answer the question. And it should no, be me, me, I'm, um, I hate the, oh, what are you eating tonight? <laughs> it's meaningless. <laughs> no, it's like you ask them, okay. So are you feeding? You to, no, no, no. What do you, what do you, what do you want to eat tonight? Oh, I don't know. What do you want to eat? Well, listen, I'm going to ask you the question if I knew. Yeah, facts. I only ask because I want to see if you were trying to eat something. But if you're not, then you're best going to have what I have. <laughs> <laughs> bro, and I just, honestly. And the sharing of food, bro. Like, yo, they, bro, sharing of food, like, I, I got the plate for me. I know how much I like to eat. Why, no, why you know, it? Ryan, who's not, not here. Not rations. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, who's not here on this episode. What he does, he when he buys food, he always buys extra, knowing that she's gonna eat or my mom's gonna eat. Word. Me, you know what's crazy? Me, I'm the like I don't care. Like I'll, like I'll actually eat off her plate. She gets big mad, and I'm like, you know, it's great. It's this is great. Like and low key, she doesn't know that I do that on purpose, especially mm-hmm. for, especially for the sweater she 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 took from me. The sweaters. I just, you know, get it, back. get it back on the food. Little yeah. by little, I will eat my way towards my soda bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sharing clothes and all that. Now you have the education. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, okay. You don't want to give me my straight up? No, it's cool. This man's this man's taking it as a transaction. I want my I want my stuff back plus interest. Yeah, <laughs> you know me. I'm in finance. We, everything we do, we need a rate of return. <laughs> rate of return and a date signed and delivered. So I know it's coming back this date this time. Exactly. I need a I need a high I need a high 
return re, re, or return a uh, return on assets. I need everything. I need have my. Have you talked to you about the birthday yet? Bro, her birthday is on Valentine's Day, so you know I won't. Your boy oh well, ain't you lucky? You only have to give out one gift. You ain't got to do double because it's the same day, bro. But she was like, yo, but if you ever were to propose to me, it can't be on my birthday or Valentine's Day. I'm like, please. This is the whole thing around. Wait, hold on. If it was up to me, everything would be on years, one day, bro. For yeah. a couple of years ahead. <laughs> for a couple of years of fast forwarding here. <laughs> we propose on that day. Let me we make sure. Married on that day. We do everything that day. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm already like playing it out in my head. I'm like, yo, damn. It's about to be a crazy, crazy day. Crazy weekend. Crazy weekend. Really. No. Oh, but you know what's not, Okay. So let me tell you. I got to do the whole, I got to do the whole dinner thing on her day. And then on that, that make sure the weekend's blessed too for the both of us. So you already know. Yeah. When, is that coming up soon? Uh, yeah. Around the summer months, summertime. Uh, cool party, <laughs> vibes cartel. Yo. Well, we might. Well, we might be out by then, so it might really be a flag. <laughs> I might really be out by then. Cool party. <laughs> no, okay, bro. I see my Valentine's Day. Yeah. So like, it must have been like what, maybe ten years ago. Ten years. So my dad. Yeah. Um, is pulling. So it's Valentine's Day. My dad completely forgot. Right. And then he only got told like at work. He's like, "Oh yeah, it's February 14th, Valentine's Day. What are you doing for your wife?" He's like, "Oh, I don't know." <laughs> Nothing so, buy some wine on the way back home. <laughs> my so you know, so my dad drives drives all the way to Walmart. Maybe that's a maybe ten minutes away from our house. I think we've always been that close to Walmart. I don't think we've ever lived more than twenty minutes away from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think in my whole life. No, we've never been more than 20 minutes away from any Walmart ever. Man. Um, but having said that, so he drives, pulls up at Walmart. It's Valentine's Day. He goes to the car section. It's him and like five other dudes. And they're all like looking for Valentine's Day cards. There's barely <laughs> any. And then one guy finds finds one card. He's like, oh, I found a card. Okay, cool. Now they're all literally huddled up trying to figure out things to write for their wives and girlfriends. Like, one guy's like, ah, oh my gosh, I can't believe I, I forget this every year. How do we get here? He's like, <laughs> one guy's like, <laughs> one guy's like, I just recovered from her here from this from from Christmas, so I can't afford you it now. Christmas. <laughs> and Christmas is heavy, bro. Christmas is so heavy, man. That's why I stopped celebrating it. Yeah, same actually. I just keep it simple dinner and stuff because yo know, once you start to add all the other things and plus people's friends and everybody's trying to come through people trying to run these parties because you know right after christmas they try to have the new year's party and you can't slap no you know the thing is, is i said this i'll be honest with you new year's and, and mind you i spent my new year's in mexico right yeah. new year's is only cut like like new year's is only fun out of the country right Right. Or like you just have a fun New Year's at home, whatever. But I'm saying I and the reason why I'm saying you're out of the it seems like at least you're out of the country, you're having a good time, whatever. Because like I feel like once you've done New Year's, like after let's say after the age of 19 here, mm -hmm. right? Or 21 in the States, if you've done it like five or six times, it's not as fun. Right, you're bored of it. Yeah, you gotta space it up. Yeah. So, like, I can understand people doing New Year's out of the country. Like, even I know uh, this year, I'll, I won't be here for New Year's. Hell, I'll, I won't even be here for Christmas. So, you know me. No, vaccination, vaccination means vacation. They already, they already announced saying that there's a third wave or something. So, Yeah, I mean, that third wave, um, well, they can, listen, people are getting vaccinated is what it is. I'm, I'm yes. honestly at this point I'm beyond it. Like we told y'all stay inside, y'all don't want to stay inside. We especially we with the summer time time. coming, nobody's inside. Nobody's inside for summer, especially bro, with you know, CNEs are up to. I think it was like last Wednesday. 
I, where did I, like, and if, I think it was like, maybe, uh, it was like 10 degrees Celsius. Mm. And bro, it's like 6 p.m. And the streets, like, and this is Bowmanville. The streets are packed. People are moving. Like, wow. like people are at the park. People are dancing. Music is bumping. Like, you think you think it's a summer jam. Like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, why did that street get so lit? <laughs> <laughs> No, but I feel like this summer is going to be a good summer. So they said, what, by June 20th or June 30th, everybody in Ontario will be vaccinated. So, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, they, they really pulled up on my house to make sure I got vaccinated. Jeez. <laughs> like, Jeez. I'm not, no, but like, because I even said, like, I'm, I'm like, technically, I'm like the lowest risk person or one of the lowest risk people to catch it. Right. Mind you, uh, like just age from age, from the fact that I'm never, um, like I don't really interact with people apart from like the people I actually have to go out with. I, I work from home, so like there's no, like, the actually, I even said my danger actually comes, or my was at, the, at a certain point was just my mom, my brother, my girl, because they're all teachers, and Riley, and, and my brother. Oh, right. Teachers. right so it's just because of them like i even said if i lived on my own literally i wouldn't have any like i would literally be the safest person you know yeah but you know <sighs> i didn't move out before covid who knew parents were like wait just stay you know a couple more months bam covid i'm like oh hell. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's funny because my boy was actually saying that the reason why we got COVID is because of me. Because God knew I that. that. The thing about this setup. It would been the first time. That summer would have been the first time I'd, I'd be single. And have no school. And have money. During the summer. You know that those three things have never lined up for me. Right. Toronto was about to be a whole mess. And yeah, he stopped you. <laughs> like God said, now nah, we need, I need to start a whole pandemic because your your boy your boy's gonna your your book is your boy's gonna be uh he's gonna be a plague to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> the streets can't recover. So so yeah. we've come up to that time now where March Madness is about to happen. I haven't even looked at it. It's because this didn't feel like it didn't even feel like it was going on. It didn't feel like the scheduling was all off. You know, there's no hype around it. I didn't see anything on my feed. Usually there's a bunch of bunch of hype, you know, commercials, your phone be telling you, ESPN be all over it. Nothing. Even up to the Sunday was selection day. I didn't even know. Yeah. So is it a, is it a watch? Is it a watch this year? Or is it just a flop? So whatever. Bro, it's not think about like the MVP of the SEC tournament, when they asked him about the trophy, like cause when they won the SEC tournament SEC tournament, he probably said the job's not done. Right? And I feel like on the real, I'd watch some games. I just want to see and yeah, I'd watch. I feel like um yeah, it's not a big watch. It's not a must watch, but it'd be interesting. And and to be honest, I'm I'm ready to watch some ball that matters. Yeah, this is the first time we get to watch the entire tournament from our houses without using vacation days. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, listen. I literally, I, I, I had a, I had a, I had a, a boss once who's like, "Free vacation days are very convenient to, uh, to big sporting events." Like, <laughs> like, like, Super Bowl NBA finals. I'm out like, like in June, like in June, 
like if the if there's a big game on a Sunday, I know he's not coming in Monday. Super Bowl the day after the Super Bowl, I know my boy's not here. I feel like he's like fifth game vacation. If they line up, bro. <laughs> yo, people be doing. Yo, you gotta do your research, yo. Even right now, I'm starting to think of myself. Hmm, I wonder what's going on in May. I'm gonna have to do some research here. Make sure you know my games are lined up for the playoffs. Damn, I mean. I don't know. Maybe your girl watches this. Maybe she doesn't. But no, like me, hmm? I went. I went ahead and told him, like you know, March is a pretty uh, important month to me. Obviously, a lot of things happen in March for, for me, and uh, no. you know, so don't don't get mad if I don't uh, reply. Yo. She's all like, "Your best better reply." <laughs> you reply. I mean, so I'll try. But you know, one yo man might catch a body one too. Just oh, when I'm watching some big upset happen, I mean, yo, we are at home watching this. Yo, I listen, dream of being at home watching this, bro. I'm 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 literally going through my own March Madness right now. I'm trying mm-hmm. to get all the schoolwork done, but mm-hmm. you know how it is. Yes, sir. No, but that I think, but I do think that. um I don't know. I feel like the way sports and just life was is set up on on a normal tip. It just makes so much sense. Like for me, once the once the NBA fin, finals hits, like right, it is always in and around oh, yeah. uh, the end of my mom's uh, uh, a little bit after or before my mom's birthday. Bro, for me, the summer has started. Like, Sorry. I'm hot. Like. I'm out in the streets, right? Oh, wow. So then I got to be home. I got to watch the game. I got to see what Braun doing. I got to see what my boys are doing. What the How Raptors wild are is showing. This gonna right? be? How wild is this summer going to be? Well, this summer, if people are actually vaccinated, Toronto is going to be destroyed. Like, it's, there will, it will be mayhem in clubs and, and day parties. Like, bro, forget, like, it forgets finishing work at five. People are done at four o'clock. People, people, I'm not lying to you, bro. I see, bro. People are gonna be going out on Wednesdays, for yeah, a deep night. Yeah, yeah. I right? can. And, and, and for a lot of people, they'll be able to work and whatever, but they we won't be both going back to the office. No, like I don't think we're going back to the office this year. If anything, next year. Yeah. Anything? Because just because I mean they just to chill. Prepare everybody. Well, they, you know that. they just they well they don't know the lasting effects. Plus, um, right? They don't know like. And first of all, they have to make sure who's vaccinated, who cannot be vaccinated. What are the situations like? And they have to see the impact of the vaccination on the public, just as the vaccination and on COVID itself. Like, is it really bringing down these numbers? Because there have been rumors of people who have been vaccinated. Who, who got it back, who didn't even get to placebos, but who actually got vaccinated, who got COVID, like, who got COVID. Yeah. So with stories of that going on, you got to be a little bit, you know, you got to be smart about it and, and take your time before you send people back to the office. Where, like, I even said, like, like you know where my office is. It's like, it was in, it's in the heart of Toronto, like, in the streets. So, like, it was, it could have been so easy to catch COVID Right, like it's easy to catch the, a common cold, like in that area. Never mind COVID. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like so. Yeah, no, but this this summer the streets are gonna be hot. This Slow. summer, this summer, this summer is gonna be tough on single pe- on on re- people in relationships. Unless your girl, unless your girl or your man is a is is a a partier or a, a freak, like you might <laughs> it might be a lot of temptation for you out here in the street. So finally, you know, what's a diva cup? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. We just go in the show right here, you know. Um, it's been a wild one, it's been a good one, obviously. And let us know in the comments how you guys feel about uh well, not diva cups, because we really don't want to know about that. But you know, summertime, March Madness, what your girlfriends or boyfriends doing that's ticking you off. Always here in the Black Jackpack to talk about things that are real. And uh we really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching us for another. Epic episode. Just us two this time, though. It's your Patriots hat on. <laughs> I mean, they found bare people today. Bare I, people. We bro, all come back. What is going 
on the NFL, man. Crazy. But we'll catch you guys next time when the Aces come back.